Every single year right now, there are more and more people who are trying to become software engineers. Because of this, the competition to become a software engineer is becoming that much more fierce and it's becoming less and less likely that you, someone trying to become a software engineer, will ultimately succeed. And it's actually really unfortunate because a lot of people who set out to become software engineers ultimately fail. And the worst part, in my opinion, is I actually think that most of the time it's not actually due to their abilities, but it's because of a few simple mistakes that they all tend to make that I wanna discuss here in this video. The first reason that people end up failing to become a software engineer is because they don't have a strong enough why. And just like anything else in life, you need to have a reason or a motivation to do something. So if you don't have a strong why, or if you don't have a strong motivator, you're probably not gonna succeed at whatever it is you're setting out to do, whether or not that is or isn't becoming a software engineer. And so if you're trying to become a software engineer, the first thing you need to do is establish this why. Before you start studying, before you start going into the material, just do a quick sanity check and make sure that that why actually is a strong motivator. Because if it's not, there's no reason that you're gonna continue down this long, treacherous, painful journey of learning the code and becoming a software engineer if literally the only reason why you wanna do it is because you want to look smart to people. Because there's tons of ways to do that. So definitely make sure that whatever it is the reason that you've chosen to become a software engineer, just make sure that it's a strong motivator because otherwise it's very easy to give up. And this motivator, remember, needs to actually be able to fuel you all the way from the beginning of your journey to all the way across the finish line, however far away that may or may not be. The next reason why people fail to become software engineers is because there's so much material out there. Literally, if you wanna become a software engineer, it's so hard to even know what that means today. The computer science umbrella is giant. And so what I really recommend that you guys do is pick a specific domain underneath that umbrella that you guys can specialize within. And because there's all this material, it's really easy to have analysis paralysis because you literally have no idea where to start because how could you? There's so much information out there. And so what I really recommend you do is just pick a corner, carve out a corner that you're gonna specialize in, start there, and if you don't like it, you can always pivot. But I really recommend that you try and learn one thing really well and start there and then expand your scope. I think it's really dangerous to try and be a jack of all trades because then you end up being a master of none. And when you're trying to break into the industry, it's really, really valuable and essential to be able to go to a specific company and say, hey, I know X really well and you need X and I can fulfill that need. If you go to a company and you say, I know these five things, but I don't know them really well, but I've dabbled in all of them, they're probably just gonna say, see you later. I think this is really especially true at smaller companies because they really need people who are gonna come in and hit the ground running. And if I'm a small shop that only knows Python and it's full stack development using Python and the only thing you've ever used is, I don't know, Java, it's probably going to be a little rough for you to onboard. It's probably not going to move as fast as I want it to, maybe being an engineer on the team. And ultimately, it might not end up working out because you don't know that specific language. So really try and stay in one lane. Just know one thing really well, be able to do that thing super well, become an expert at that one thing, and then be able to offer that to companies and be able to deliver work at high quality in that specific lane. Afterwards, you can always branch out. You can always try different things. But if your goal is really to break into the industry, I really recommend focusing on one thing and getting in that way. Another really simple reason why people fail is because they don't actually practice their craft. And there's gonna be all these different tutorials and Twitter threads and blog articles that promise you secret formulas and recipes to do this thing in 60 days or 90 days, but I'm gonna let you in on my own little secret, which is that there is none. And much like anything else, to become a software engineer, you just need to practice your craft. If you wanna become a writer, you gotta write. If you wanna become a software engineer, you gotta write code. So do yourself a favor and make sure you set aside time every single day to really practice that craft and move yourself closer to the finish line, which is becoming a software engineer, and I'm assuming landing that first job in tech. Daily dedicated practice is super essential to make sure that you're actually internalizing, digesting the concepts and the topics that you're practicing every day. And once you actually know those concepts and topics, you can start building on top of them. I really think that software engineering is very similar to math. I think if you have trouble with addition, you're really, really gonna struggle when you start learning multiplication. So if you guys don't have a solid foundation in the fundamental concepts and topics of computer science, I really recommend working on those things so that eventually you can build on them. And if you start building on them too early, well, you know, houses that are built on faulty foundations don't tend to end too well, and I'm guessing it'll be the same for you. So whether it's 15 minutes or an entire hour every day, just make sure that you keep showing up. Some days you're gonna be more productive than others, and that's totally normal as a human. But just make sure that no matter what, you form that habit and you keep practicing to become better every single day. I think maybe the most common reason why people fail to become software engineers is because they don't actually understand a realistic timeline for becoming one. I think in today's day and age, everybody wants things yesterday. They don't have the patience to really put in the time, the effort, and the dedication to achieve a really hard task like becoming a software engineer. But I guarantee you that if you put the time in, the juice will be well worth the squeeze. 
So when you first start out, set a realistic timeline for how long it might take you to become a software engineer. It's very hard to sort of know definitively what that timeline might look like. You're gonna to see tons of things that say, I became a software engineer in 30 days, in 60 days, in six months. But the truth is, I don't know how long it'll take you. And I think that's important to know going in. I always like to recommend the people to sort of set a year as a benchmark and you can always adjust from there. But I feel like a year is pretty ample time to actually learn these concepts and topics to be able to get your foot in the door, assuming that you're using your time wisely. So have the patience to do this thing that's hard. Have the patience and the dedication to practice something every single day to move yourself forward and become better at this thing that you're doing. And I guarantee you that if you take the time to understand these things and build on these topics and concepts, you'll have no problem getting your foot in the door into the software engineering industry. Can't say if that'll be in 30 days or 300, but I guarantee you if you don't give up, it'll end up working out. So those are the reasons that I've personally seen where I think people end up failing becoming software engineers. If you guys have your own reasons, please be sure to leave it in the comments below and let's discuss. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop it a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Damn,